name is Ruth Collins and I was born in Oldbury. I was born in a toll house three days before the Second World War started and the week in which the last tram went from Birmingham to Dudley. I had one sister, Christine. And my mum was called Lucy. My father was Thomas William King. He was very kind and thoughtful. And he enjoyed talking like I do. <laughs> he came from a boating family and he started working on the boats when he was 13, although he had spent holidays on the boats, obviously, before that. He loved boating, being in the fresh air and open air. Before he got a job with the Birmingham Canal Navigation, he always worked to do with canals and associated things. He was promoted to a toll clerk, but it meant moving to the black country. And my mum and dad, they moved into um, Braids Hall Toll House and they stayed there for the rest of their lives. My father, Will King, did take over 2,000 photographs of canals during his lifetime. Well, he's got photographs dating from the 30s, but he started his main canal collection in the late 50s and early 60s with his Kodak camera. He really took off when he had this camera. He was a keen photographer. I encouraged him particularly with his photographs. I mean, I think he would have taken them anyway, but we encouraged him a great deal to take his mind off my mum dying. My dad's photographs were so good because he knew what he was taking. Most of my dad's photographs actually show working boats with people on them doing their job. They weren't just pictures, he took them for a reason. Well, they're just part of history, really. He just captured canals as they were at the time that he took photographs. And therefore, you can see the involvement from working boats through to pleasure boats. And he did take a picture of every lock between Birmingham and London. And most of the bridges between Birmingham and London, but not all of them. He labelled every single photograph he ever took um, so that we do know where they were. I used to help him, you know, collate them and things like that. I've got all the negatives as well, and I can match the numbers to the numbers of the photographs because he, he was meticulous in keeping everything. Uh, and I'm afraid I'm still a bit the same. I never throw anything away. <laughs> I was proud of the fact that my family were from a boating family. And when I came to get married, I was worried because I'd either got to walk down the towpath to get to the road in my wedding dress, or you could get to the opposite side of the lock. But you just don't go across locks in wedding dresses and then I suddenly had the bright idea why don't I go by boat because the church was right by the canal as well. My father was very upset when my mum died and I knew when I got married he'd be very sentimental and he was known as Mr King and his two princesses. It was a beautiful feeling because I had my sister and my father also there and we travelled in the front of the boat, smiling at everybody. <laughs> and certainly on that day, I felt like royalty. I lived in the Toll House for the first 22 years of my life, and I have just moved a little bit down the road for the last almost 60 years. 
I think my father would be delighted that his photographs are still uh, available for people to see and that I'm sort of carrying on the tradition, if you like, of the family.